YouTube, I'm Bobby. And I am Brent. And you're watching. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. The whole world is ready. Here we go. <laughs> hey guys, we're jamming okay. out here on the old uh, hand drum, whatever the hell you call this that. Thing. The, uh, I don't know, what is that called? Face block. Face block? Yeah, we'll call it the face block. Face block. It's our new so block. Fake it's our block. new it's our new uh, social media platform, face block. Face block. Where you just specifically block out the faces of people you don't want to <laughs> see from on your Facebook page. Yeah. It's like a new app for Facebook. I like it. You, if there's someone on your Facebook who you just face you don't like, get face block. Face block. Face block. Or fake block. Or fake block. <laughs> Our, we're working on our marketing strategy. Yeah. So far, it's not going great. What are we teaching them today, Brent? We're gonna, this is kind of a weird one. Normally, we do a lot of video editing tutorials, um, some goofs and spoofs, um, some Brent Flix original series. But today, yeah. we're talking about a very important thing on YouTube that a lot of people don't really think about too often. And, and what's a, that? It's a little something we like to call thumbnails. Ooh, thumbnails. So like my thumbnail? No, Bobby, not exactly that. Though... You're in the right ballpark. Okay. No, actually, not at all. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mislead you. That's not in the right ballpark at all. I don't know why they call them thumbnails, so it's okay. But basically, whenever you see a YouTube video on the interwebs, specifically YouTube, you know, because yeah. that's the website where you see YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're on YouTube and you're looking for a video to watch, um, there's always a little picture associated with the video you're a about nice to watch. Little, a little clip, an image that L represents the video. Yeah, and so, you know, there's a variety of different types of styles and thumbnails and all that. Yeah. But in general, when you're making a thumbnail, you want something that's going to grab people's attention that gets you excited, where you're like, ooh, what is this yeah. video? I want to click that something and watch that it. pops out in So your face. it's actually a really important part of YouTube and making videos is having a cool thumbnail that kind of grabs your attention and makes you want to see what the video is all about. Yeah, so why don't we go over that today and show you guys how yeah. you can make some cool thumbs for your YouTube videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Woo! Okay, so here we are, Premiere Pro. We've got nothing here at all. The most professional of premieres. Yes, not Premiere Amateur. Yeah. Premiere Pro. And we have... Uh, or Premiere Bro. Premiere Pro. <laughs> so Premier over bro. here, we've got a folder with some images that we've taken. Okay. Now, a thumbnail can either be an image or a screenshot from your video. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you how to do a screenshot. We'll also show you how to do it with an image. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to drag this video into our project folder. We're jumping in between accents today. Yeah. We don't know what's going um, on. I, Game of Thrones, I'm getting ready. Yeah. Oh. Too much drag. Oh, much so drug pumped. Did you, see, did you see the, the new uh, trailer they just released the other day about winter is here? Hashtag winter is here. Oh. Guys, ha hashtag winter is I here. I see this. I'm so excited. Oh, well, after we shoot this video, we're going to watch right. it real quick. Have a reaction. All you guys out there, you should watch it too. It looks awesome. We got to record Bob, oh. Bobby's reaction. Whew, we're, we're so excited. We should totally do like an episode. Just We should just start a show on now, you know, where we just watch... All Game of Thrones, and then just like talk about it afterwards. Yeah, if you guys like that idea, comment below. Comment below, because um, we just want to have an excuse to talk about Game of Thrones. Yeah. Honestly, so good. Anyway, we're getting very distracted right now. So Half of this is not making the video. Probably. This is all end plate. Stuff. End plate stuff's the best, though. You yeah. Know, you gotta love end plate Stay stuff. to the end plate, guys, because half the time, that's the most fun part of the episode, is all our mistakes and stuff. Definitely. So, we've dragged our video in here. Okay. And the reason I did that is because if we drag it onto... Here, it's going to create a sequence. There's mm -hmm. my gorgeous little face right there. Yep. And that's going to create the dimensions that we want for a YouTube video. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the folder and grab uh, one of the images that we took. We can choose a point in uh, this video where, that we like for a thumbnail. And we'll show you real quick how to do a screenshot. I'm liking some of the faces that we get going on in these still so, frames. I think Apparently right now, like... <laughs> I think that works. Yeah, yeah, that's a great one. I am like embarrassed slash bashful about something and you look, <laughs> look like... drunk. Yes. But I think I might have saw an even better one in there somewhere. There's... Oh, that's some good one. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Now you look drunk and I look bashful. Yeah, there okay, we, we go. We both look bashful. But a couple bashful little boys. All right, so here's a point in the video <laughs> that uh, we could grab for a 
uh, screenshot for our thumbnail. Sure. So how you do that is by going under the program monitor here, and there's this little icon for export frame. Ooh, okay. Also a shortcut of control shift E. Control shift E. We're going to name this thumb photo, and we're going to make sure that import into project is selected. Okay. So what that's going to do is it's going to import. Oh the yeah, there it is. Right okay, here. I'm seeing it. So. We've got that at the beginning of the video. Now we can delete the video footage. Yeah, because we don't need that video footage because we're making thumbs today. Making thumbs. Still images. So we have this still image here, and we can also grab one of the photos that we took and put it right there. So now, as you can see, a photo is higher quality. That's why we like to use photos as much as we can for thumbnails. Right. Higher res is always better because you can do more with it without losing quality. Yeah, it looks, so. it looks amazing. You don't get that too. like pixelated look that, you know, makes you feel like you're on an Angel Fire website from like 2002. Yeah. We have our picture here and it's really zoomed in. Yeah. Uh, we're going to grab our scale over here in the video effects and we're going to drag it to the left and scale it down. There we go. So I think between the two of these, uh, we're gonna use the photo. We just wanted to show you how to do a screenshot if you ever needed it. Right. So we'll delete the screenshot and okay. we will just work on this photo here. Sure. Now, I think the first thing we wanna do is do some color correcting. Yeah, I mean the colors don't look bad here, but we can really make things pop. Because yeah. remember, this is just gonna be a small thumbnail on YouTube, so you want everything to be as eye-catching and poppy as possible, because yeah. you only have a little bit of space to work with. So. You want it to, to grab your attention right away. Yeah. So I think that first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our creative setting here. We we're gonna choose a, uh, a nice LUT. stylized look here. Nice LUT, as they're called, L-U-T, LUT. LUT. I like Fuji Eterna, I think it's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's subtle. And if you turn up the intensity, it can get really intense, but I like to keep it somewhere in between uh, 30 and 40. So now going back to what Brent said, we're gonna go into basic correction and we're gonna make some things pop here. Okay. So we're gonna turn up the exposure just a little bit. That to looks make it pretty a little good. More vibrant. Sure. And we're gonna play with the contrast, see if we can get it to be a little more eye popping there. Okay. And maybe we'll uh, touch up a little bit of the saturation. A little satch. A little bit of satch. We don't need a lot because as you can see, me and Brent are very red here. Yes. And we don't need to be more red. And it's pretty good. There's a few th different things you can do playing with the vignette. Yeah, it's a good way to draw attention to a specific area. As Make you can see, pop. we can either add like a light vignette, which kind of creates like a lighter border or darker border. Either way, it kind of draws your attention from the edges to wherever the center of the vignette is, which in this case would be Bobby and myself. Yeah, so I think that what we're gonna do is we're going to try and add a little bit of vignette and we're gonna drop the feather down so we can see sort of where our vignette is mainly going to be located. Yeah, this is more just for like visual sake. We won't keep it like this. This won't be the end yeah. result. This is more just to see where our vignette is right now so that when we do feather it out, it's drawing your attention to the right spot. Exactly, and I think that we uh, wanna make sure that we're both in the photo Yep. Here. So I think that's a pretty good spot for the vignette and we will feather it out and I think that looks pretty good. Nice. It, we're both in frame here, yep. and I think that's looking awesome. Cool. So, now the important question a lot of people want to know is how do you add text or graphics to the thumbnail? Right. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're making this thumbnail for this video right now. Yeah, we're kind of like, we're going, this is like the inception of video editing or tutorial videos because we're currently making the thumbnail for the video that you are watching right now. What? What? That's crazy. If we go any more levels deep, we'll never be able to get back out. I'm kind of scared. We're, we're already sick. This is my totem right here. I'm going to spin yeah. it, and if it falls down, then we're in the real world. It fell. <laughs> okay. We're, st we're okay. We're and still okay. The Lord. We'll check we're back later set. to make sure that we're still good. And now we're going to close our window or shrink our window here, and we're gonna drag the Premiere Pro icon right onto our video. Oh yeah. So. A little too big right now. A little too big. Let's shrink it a little bit. I think that's very Peter McKinnon looking actually. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very Peter McKinnon thumb. So let's drag this into the bottom left corner here. Okay. Now something that me and Brent like to do in our thumbnails is avoid using the bottom right corner because that is where the uh, timestamps will go from YouTube, right? And yeah, so a lot of times if you have text down there and stuff, it ends up getting covered by a timestamp, then you know you can't read it, so it's kind of a wasted space, wasted yeah. use of space there. So it's kind of leaving that open is 
you're better off doing that because odds are whatever you put in, in that bottom right corner is going to get covered up. So Yes, and <clears throat> I think that it's pretty uh, safe to go into the left corner. So The nice thing about that, by putting that logo in there, it lets people know right away what we're going to be doing a tutorial on. Yeah, it kind of so. welcomes you into the video like, you're looking for Premiere Pro videos, you better have a Premiere Pro icon. Okay, so now we want to maybe add um, our logo because mm -hmm. we like to brand our thumbnails mm -hmm. and just quickly throw in our logo. So we're gonna throw in our logo probably somewhere in the top corner. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be big, so we'll it, grab our new logo pops. here. Pops, pops baby. And we will drag it on top of here. So we've got three layers now. And we'll go into our effect controls <laughs> and we'll shrink it, shrink and ink it. And we will probably try and squeeze it in the top left corner. I think that the logo is a little bit... Um, the colors dark, are a little, so a little flat, so yeah, let's, let's make it. that pop a little more. We can even add increase some exposure, the satch. Some saturation. Yeah, it's now, really looking now that's now. popping out. So that's looking pretty good. I'm liking that. We have the logo. We have the Premiere Pro logo. Uh, what else can we do? Now, You there are ways to add text to a thumbnail. Uh, the way you can do that is by creating a new legacy title. So you can do that by going to File, New, and down here you'll see Legacy Tile. Okay. So what this does is it opens up a <coughs> workspace with our uh, whatever is behind the text layer in the video. Okay, so we grabbed our thumbnail text right here. Okay. And I think that looks pretty striking. It's popping. It's popping. It's, it's right in your face. We want to make sure we're not covering our faces too much because we another want something thing, interesting. Another thing that's important with thumbs too is you have to, again, remember that this is small. So when you do have text, you might want to make it maybe a little bit bigger than you would maybe normally do. Yeah. Because you need to be able to read it in a smaller format and it, we want it to pop. Like that's been kind of the keyword of the day is things popping. And so... Um, normally you might be inclined to make that text a decent amount smaller, yeah. but what's going to happen is when you put that up as your thumb, it's going to be very weirdly yeah. jagged and pixelated and hard to read. So, and another part of that is color. You want to make sure that it doesn't blend in. Yeah. So you need colors that stand out. So one way that we can check to see if it stands out is by shrinking our window here to make the uh, thumb about the size that it would be on the internet. And I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Now, there are a few things we can do. I think that the, the word thumbnail is definitely, it's not colorful enough, and it needs to be a little bit more bold. Yeah, let's bold it up. So one thing I like to do is I like to go into our settings here and play around with the uh, outline. If we go to strokes and add an outer stroke, it kind of creates this bold edge here. Ooh, yeah. And I think that can really help with the thumbnail. That's really popping now. So. If you add a bit of that edge, it, it pops a little bit, and I think that we can fill in our fill type with maybe a linear gradient, something maybe yellow. I think yellow really pops. Yellow is usually a nice poppy color. So let's sure. try a light yellow for our first color in the gradiency, and then a more poppy classic yellow for the bottom. Okay. And let's let's check that out. Let's, let's shrink it and see how that looks. Oh yeah, that yeah. really pops that, now. That's very popping. Very now you know. We have very certain a certain style to our thumbnails. So I think that looks really good. I like it. All right. So now what do we do? Now we export the thumbnail. How so do we do that? Just as we showed you earlier with our video screenshot, okay. we're going to select a point at which we want to screenshot this. And we're going to click on our export frame button again. Okay. And that's going to bring up the same thing as before. We'll call this... Thumbnail, thumbnail. <laughs> yes. Because this is a thumbnail for the thumbnail video. Okay. And we're going to hit browse. We'll pick where we're going to save it. We're going to pick exactly where we want to save it. So we're going to save it in our learning folder. And then we're going to click in thumbnail tutorial, select folder, thumbnail, thumbnail, and we'll click OK. Now we got our thumbnail. We now have our thumbnail. Boom. And I think that looks pretty appealing. I would click on that. I like that. So I like it a lot. Shrink it down. I think it's looking pretty good. I think That's, we did it. We did it, guys. We did it. This video will now have a million views thanks to this thumbnail. One million views. <laughs> I will take one million views, please. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Learning. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. We appreciate you watching. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe to our channel for weekly video editing tutorials and weekly news updates for electric cars and other global 
related things. Yes, we got in-depth on Monday where we take one issue and we talk about it for an extended period of time. And when I say we, I mean Zach and Jesse. Then we got Tesla Time News on Tuesday where we talk about all things Tesla, EV, solar power, uh, future technology, all, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of fun business. And we got a bunch of other fun stuff that we're working on that will be you guys will be able to see real soon. So look forward to all of that stuff. And the only way you get to see it all is if you subscribe. So make Hit sure you do that. that button. Thanks for watching. I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And we need to figure out which level of dream we're in. Bobby, play that note. Learning with Bobby and Brent. And if you don't like us, then seeing us fail should be entertaining at the very least. I've infiltrated the Tesla videos. He's infiltrated. Now we need Brent to infiltrate them. Yeah, I'm, I'll try. I'll try. I it's get tough. You in. I, I got an in. It's oh, you got an in. Yeah, I get you. In. Do you know Zach? But we don't need any glittery gifs. Yeah. Gifs, whatever you want to say. Swifts. Or Swifts. Swifts. <laughs> yeah, sure. Swifts. No one wants. No, that. no, most people have forgotten about the Swifts. You know. Yes, yeah, Swifts are the. Swifts kind of died out when GIF came around. Yeah. Yes, we're going on a lot getting, of tangents yeah, today. Lots of. Lots derailing. of lots of derailment. Now, do you have to use a spinning object as a totem? I don't think it has to be. Um, it's been a while since I've seen it's been around, been around. since I've seen uh, Inception, but I don't think that's Bobby's totem right Can there. My totem be that I the, like, the hand drum there. Press right? it and it like never stops like making a note. Yeah, if the note if the note dies, then we're still we're still good. We okay. we haven't gone too far. We haven't gone too many dream levels.